All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 602 of the First of Frame Rate Show. I am Via Baller. Over here, we talk about George Southern Atlanta Falcons football. And before I get started, I want to give everyone, yeah, my light is acting up. I want to give everyone uh, a happy Father's Day. You know, this is a pretty good weekend for fathers all over, you know, the world. And, you know, um, you know, things that we do don't get noticed. So, I mean, it's it's really a good day, but sometimes you just have to reflect to be, you know, to know that we don't have the easiest job. It's a lot against us, but we just keep it pushing. So happy Father's Day to all the good fathers out there. Um, outside of that, let's talk about today's topic. You know, we talk about George Southern Atlanta Falcons football over here, and we're going to talk some Falcons because I'm kind of, I don't know what's going on here. Um, the Falcons just signed a kicker, um, Matthew Trickett. And I want to know why this was the situation because I have no idea. I'm kind of puzzled with this, but uh, we're going to talk about it and uh, we're going to close the week on this uh, note. If this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Um, thank you guys for the support. This week has been another phenomenal week of content and you guys have um, you know, responded by supporting. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys very, very much. And um, I can also be found on Twitter at VFBaller and the website is firstandframerates.com, firstandframerates.com. All right, let, let's just jump into this. Why did the Falcons sign a kicker when we already have Young Wei Koo? And on top of that, um, they signed him to a three-year deal right after signing Young Wei Koo to a five-year deal last year. I don't know what's going on here, and this is one of the, this is probably the, one of the biggest head scratches that has come across the front office so far since they've been here for the past two plus years. So based on the tweet by Ian Rappaport, Ian Rappaport saying after working out a mandatory mini camp, the Falcons are signing former Minnesota kicker, Matthew Trickett to a three-year contract. He can take some of the kicks off Bradley Pinion and young Waku in the preseason and Atlanta can work to develop him. Now I'm fairly, um, now I don't think he played against Georgia Southern in the in the Minnesota game. I'm not sure, but nevertheless, that's that's beside the point. I don't understand what we're doing here. We don't need another kicker. Um, maybe they know something better than I do, so I I, I I'm going to defer to them. But even if we needed a, another kicker, um, I, I don't even know how to answer this. Like, even if we signed another kicker, why would you sign up to a three year deal when you know you have? Young Wei Koo, a Pro Bowl kicker, one of the better kickers in the in the league. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, Young Wei Koo had a little bit of struggles, went to the um, I can't remember that uh that league he went to, but he ended up playing for the Chargers, went to that uh other league. I, I can't remember the name of it, uh AFL or something like that. But anyway, nevertheless, then he came back to the NFL and just I mean, his his play just skyrocketed. So I don't understand like why would we need, you know. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand it. Three year deal, and he's gonna be a backup kicker because he's not gonna take. I I severely doubt he's gonna take Young Waku's job. Um, maybe because we just had a roster spot and you can't have enough kickers. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, they just this right here just really is a head scratcher for the most part. I don't know. It's it's one of the. It's a really odd move. I don't understand. You know, this move. I mean, if anybody can you know, uh, explain it to me. Please let me know in the comment section on YouTube or rumble or hit me up on Twitter. Um, but with, with that being said, uh, I guess this just showed you how well the rosters put together. They're not using the spot for another skill player. I mean, not saying kickers aren't skill players, but you know what I mean? Like skill players, like get another pass rusher, you know, um, yeah, I don't know how much the money is that there's paying, they're paying him. Uh, I, I'm really at a loss. I don't know. Maybe we could have got, uh, you know, another running back for Avery Williams, another kickoff return guy. I, I don't know. Um, I'm really at a loss. Um, I want to, you know, try to find some silver lining to this, but I just don't know. Um, Young Wei Koo is one of the better kickers in the league, and why would you, you know, sign Matthew Trickett? I mean, maybe they're going to sign him to develop him for punter? I don't know how long Bradley Pinion is, is on the, uh, his contract is or whatever, but he's a he's a bona fide kicker. But the only thing I can think of, if it's a three year plan, um, who was he succeeding? 
I, I, I just don't understand where this is going. I don't I don't want to make it seem like this episode is just at a loss, but this is a really weird topic and it's I don't know. Uh maybe they're probably going to use him for trade bait or they're just going to develop him just to have two kickers. Um they're probably going to have him as a kickoff kick, kickoff uh specialist and Young Way Koo just going to be a bona fide field goal kicker. I I think that's probably like the, that makes the most sense. He's probably just going to be doing kickoff on special because that I mean that's what they do in college. In college, I know like um with Georgia Southern, it was at one point we had um we had Michael Lance kicking kickoffs and we still had uh, uh Alex Rayner doing field goals. I, I don't know. I mean, it's a it, that's more of a college move, but to be in the NFL to do it, I don't understand. Like you don't really carry three guys that are on special teams that do this type of work. Like you don't carry two punters and a kicker or two kickers and a punter. Um, And I know for sure you don't carry three kickers or three punters. It is really weird. I don't know. So I'm really, I'm, I'm really perplexed. I don't think this is necessarily a bad move. It's more like an unnecessary move. I mean, you, I don't think you needed another kicker. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't know, man. It's like, and then they sign them to a three year deal. You know, I mean, I don't know. Does this mean that we know something about is, is something about Young Way Koo that we don't know about? Um, is this? I mean, I'm wondering if this is going to be, uh, is this a longer lingering issue that you know Koo may want out? I, I I just don't know. I don't think that that'll be the case though. You know, if, for one thing, I would say is like, you know, Koo got his number changed, but is that that's not enough to to move? I, mean, I, I don't know. It's like, I just don't get it. I mean, this is one of the episodes where you, you want to talk about this, but there's nothing to talk about. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go and try to extend this much longer. This is probably one of the shorter episodes that we usually have. I usually try to have a short episode on Fridays, but this is a really good reason to have a short episode. I have no idea what we're doing. I don't know. Um, maybe this is something that, that can be explained somewhere time down the road. But with that being said, I'm going to be looking out for this because I'm, it, I don't know. I don't think there's anything, anything of an issue with Young Way Koo. I don't think so. But then again, it's like, why would you want to develop this guy? There's something that we don't know. Is he's going to, are they going to try to, the only, the only thing I can think about is two things. One, he's going to be the kickoff on, you know, on, he's going to be the specialist on kickoffs. Or two, they're going to try to put him at punter. And Bradley Pena is going to be out at some point. I I don't know. I don't see them removing, but moving from Young Way Koo. He's just been too valuable. I don't know. Y'all let me know. If y'all like this conversation or if you like this podcast, if you like this content, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look, I'm just discombobulated. I can't even say my outro pro- properly. Uh, it's weird. What do you guys think about this? I am on, you can find me on YouTube and Rumble. Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. Follow me on Twitter at VF Baller. Also, um, the website is firstofframerace.com. I don't have much else to say, man. I really, the more I think about this, I am really at a loss. So hopefully you guys uh, give me some feedback. Give me your thoughts. Um, if you're on the podcast avenue, first of all, I really appreciate it. Give me a five-star rating over there. I really, really, really appreciate it. Also, um, give me some feedback on Twitter at VF Baller or... You know, if you're on YouTube or Rumble, you know, hit the comment section. Let me know. I'll be reading and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. I'm up out of here, y'all. I, I don't know what else to say. I will see you guys on Monday unless some breaking news happen. Hopefully there's some breaking news. Let us know what's going on with the signing. Um, But y'all let me know. Uh, I'm getting up out of here. I might go see a Braves game this weekend, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about that. All right, y'all. I said enough. I'm out of here. Y'all take it easy and y'all be blessed. Peace.